Hello and welcome back. My name is Dorsha Dayuk. Today we'll talk about difference between past perfect continuous and past continuous. In this video you will learn what are the main differences between past perfect continuous and past continuous with best examples. All right. And at the end of the video I'll share you a best story describing the difference between past perfect and past perfect continuous and past continuous. And uh, We'll conduct a small test as well at the end of the video, wherein you can check uh, how much you have understood this topic. All right, let's jump right straight to the presentation, guys. So let us look at the difference between past perfect continuous and past continuous. The main difference between the past continuous and past perfect continuous tense is the way they indicate the duration of actions in the past. All right, the past continuous is used to describe a continuous action that was in progress at a specific time in the past or an action that was happening at the time at the same time as another past action. It indicates the continuity of an action in progress in the past without necessarily suggesting that the action has been completed or stopped. So that is how we use past continuous. For example, I was reading a book when she called me. I was studying for my exam all night. She was cooking dinner when the phone rang. He was playing video game while his sister was doing homework. They were driving to the beach when they saw a car accident. I was walking in the park when I saw a dog chasing a squirrel. We were listening to music when the power went out. Uh, she was typing on her computer while talking on the phone. They were discussing the project during the meeting. He was dancing with his girlfriend at the party. The kids were playing in the yard when it started to rain. So these are some of the best examples of past continuous used to describe a continuous action that was in progress at a specific time in the past or an action that was happening at the same time as another past action. All right. Now, let us look at what is past perfect continuous, like uh, how to make use of past perfect continuous. The past perfect continuous, on the other hand, is used to describe a continuous action that had started before a specific po point in the past and had continued up until that point. It is used to emphasize the duration or continuity of an action up to a specific time in the past. For example, I had been studying all day before I finally took a break. She had been working out at the gym for two hours before she felt dizzy and uh, had to sit down. I had been living in New York City for 10 years before I moved to Los Angeles. They had been uh, waiting in line for the concert tickets for hours before they finally got them. He had been driving for hours before he finally arrived at, this, uh, at his destination. She had been studying Spanish for years before she moved to a Spanish-speaking country. We had been hiking for three hours before we reached the summit. They had been dating for six months before they decided to get married. I had been watching the movie for an hour before I fell asleep. She had been writing her novel for months before she finally finished it. He had been practicing the guitar for hours before his fingers started to hurt. So in short, the past continuous emphasizes the continuity of an action at a specific point in the past, while the past perfect continuous emphasizes the duration of an action leading up to a specific point in the past. Now let us look at a short story that uses both past continuous and past perfect continuous tense. All right. Alice had been dreaming of uh, becoming a dancer since uh, she was a little girl. She had been taking dance lessons for years and had recently started uh, training with a renowned choreographer. She was determined to make it as a professional dancer. One day while Alice was uh, rehearsing her routine in the studio, her phone rang. She answered it and it was her agent. Alice, you won't believe it, but you've been offered a spot in the national dance competition, he exclaimed. 
all this was uh, overjoyed. She had been working so hard and this was her chance to prove herself. She spent the next few days practicing her routine, perfect, perfecting every uh, move. Finally, the day of the competition arrived. Alice was nervous but excited. She had been waiting for this moment her entire life. She stepped onto the stage. Uh, the bright lights shining uh, on her. The music started and Alice began to dance. She was graceful and uh, fluid and, and fluid moving with the music. Fluid moving with the music. As she danced, Alice felt like she was in a dream. She had been practicing for so long and now she was finally performing on a national stage. The audience was cheering and Alice felt like she was flying. She danced for what seemed like hours, her body moving in a continuous flow. In the end, Alice didn't win the competition, but she didn't care. She had been living her dream, dancing on stage in front of a cheering audience. She knew that she had been working hard and would continue to work hard to make her dream a reality. So this is one of the stories uh, uh, about uh, you know using past continuous and past perfect continuous. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, take a small test so that you people can check how much you've understood this. All right, and at the end of the you know video, I'm gonna share you the answer key of, for the questions which I'm going to ask. All right, now fill in the blanks questions. Uh, past continuous tense for uh, fill in the blank questions. What dash in the bracket you see you come do when the storm started? The family dash in the bracket watch a movie when the power went out. The kids dash were there twice while the parents dash dinner. What dash in the bracket the father come do? when he noticed the water was coming into the house. By the time the storm stopped, the family dashed in the bracket wait in the attic for three hours. The father dashed in the bracket tried to fix the roof for two hours before he realized he needed professional help. The mother dashed in the bracket cooked dinner for an hour before they decided to order pizza due to the power outage. The kids dash in the bracket play outside in the rain for an hour before they came inside. All right, so these are some of the questions. Uh, you can pause the video and just make a note of these questions and try to answer by yourself so that you can check how much you have understood. And I'm gonna give you the answer. Now you can relate these answers with the answers that I uh, which I am sharing with you here. What were you doing when the storm started? The family was watching a movie when the power went out. The kids were playing with their toys while the parents were preparing dinner. What was the father doing when he noticed the water was coming into the house? By the time the storm stopped, the family had been waiting in the attic for three hours. The father had been trying to fix the roof for, roof for two hours before he realized he needed professional help. The mother had been cooking dinner for an hour before they decided to order pizza due to the power outage. The kids had been playing outside in the rain for an hour before they came inside. So having said this, guys, we have completed... Uh, the diff we have completed this video on the difference between past continuous and past perfect continuous. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the video, please do hit the like button and share this with your friends, family members and other people as well. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day and take care. Bye for now.